Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we are going to be answering this microorganisms grade 8 topic test. Um, there's a few questions here, we'll look at multiple choice questions, terminology and column A, column B matching questions. Please remember guys, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your classmates and schoolmates and also please comment down below so let us go through it without wasting time so um the first question it's a multiple choice question please 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 in a test or an exam please ensure that you answer all questions guys please do not skip any questions if you are skipping a question please go back to it what I'm trying to say is don't leave any empty spaces. In a multiple choice question, the strategy is to start by eliminating the obvious incorrect answers, right? So let's look at this question. Microorganisms that are generally considered to be non-leaving. Read the question in multiple choice. Read it to understand. Uh, look for keywords. We are talking about microorganisms here. We know that we have a group, um, a few groups of microorganisms, but here they're basically asking you about ones that are considered to be non-leaving. So that's the key word here. Okay, so we can start by eliminating the obvious incorrect ones. Viruses, I mean, this is an easy one, right? Because protists, they are leaving. Bacteria are leaving. Fungi are leaving. Viruses are known to be non-living microorganisms. So A is your correct answer. Okay. So if you find the questions or any question in a test challenging or a little bit difficult, even if you can eliminate one or two options, eliminate them, just cross them out um, with a pencil a little bit if that is allowed um, at your school so that you are left with maybe the two options that you're really, really not sure about. So start by eliminating the obvious incorrect ones. Okay. Then we go to the second question. 112, the use of a vaccine to prevent infection. Use of a vaccine to prevent infection with a specific disease. Um, I'm reading the different options. Using a vaccine to prevent infection with a specific disease, that's vaccination. All right, then the next one, um, consisting of many cells, many multi. So it can be uni, uni is one cell, it can be a micrograph, it can be a macrograph, multicellular is our correct answer. Consisting of many cells, we are talking about multicellular organisms like us human beings, um, animals, uh, plants. We basically made up of many cells which will obviously group together to form tissues. Tissues will form organs, organs will form systems, and systems will form an organism. All right, then 114. A group of microorganisms which can either be or which can be either microscopic or macroscopic. So micro, needing a microscope, they're too small and we need a microscope to see them. They can also be big. We don't need a microscope to see them. We're basically able to identify, see, touch and feel these particular microorganisms. Um, given options, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protists. So with the other three guys, um, they are microscopic. So we'll need um, a microscope to see them. But when it comes to fungi, um, there is examples of fungi um, that we are obviously able to see and touch and feel like your mushroom. Okay, so we can have... Um, examples here under the group fungi which are microscopic and macroscopic macro for big micro for small so this is small and this is big okay then 115 the microorganism used when producing a beer 
or baking bread easy peasy stuff which one will it be guys easy peasy that will be yeast not bread mold not mushroom and not antibiotics all right please kindly let me know in the comment section how many you are getting correct um remember whenever we we answer a worksheet or a topic test or an exam you also need to take out a paper and answer on your side and then you let me know in the comment section how many you are getting correct this is obviously for learning purposes all right let's go to 1.2 give one word or term for each of the following descriptions write only the correct word or term next to the question number all right so what are we having here um a very tiny microorganism that does not perform any that does not perform any normal life functions except reproduction so a microorganism that is non-living basically because it doesn't uh, perform any normal life functions except to reproduce itself that is a virus then to break down dead organisms into simpler parts so that um, it can be or they can be recycled that is decomposition to decompose or decomposition it's not nicely phrased it's not phrased nicely okay a sign that a person suffers from a particular disease that is considered a symptom extremely small living organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye that is microorganism a group of microorganisms that include mushrooms yeast and bread mold that group is known as fungi all right or fungi or fungi i'm gonna skip uh i think it was question two okay let's answer this one i'm not skipping this one um this one is a match column a column b um question so you obviously need to match the causes in column a with the disease in column b please feel free to pause this video and try to match the two and try to match the two on your side and then obviously you play the video to check your answers so let's see 131 coronavirus um coronavirus covid19 that is c from the word covid that's coronavirus disease uh that is c sorry then bacteria tuberculosis is caused by a bacteria my is it mycobacterium tuberculosis yeah so that is e fungi will cause um, ringworms on the skin so that is d protozoa um so i've done this one then just trying to make sure that i put a dot to indicate that i've used uh, those diseases protozoa that is uh, malaria malaria is caused by um, a protist under the group protozoa uh, a female anaphilis mosquito so that will be b then hi virus will cause aids that is a let me know in the comment section how many questions you get incorrect guys i really really enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments section so this is a question that um i'm gonna skip this is a nice investigation question but it's not nicely phrased i've got this test for you guys because i want you to know a little bit and check your understanding about microorganisms but i'm gonna rephrase it and record another video answering this test so if you want to screenshot you can um you can screenshot it but i want to rephrase it and make it simpler for you guys so that you can understand so i'll record another video all right question three um the table below contains information on microorganisms provide the missing information by writing down only the number and the correct answer obviously these are instructions these are test instructions when you're given the question paper and an answer for your paper so we're just going to write all the answers um in here so 
let's understand our table. So in this particular column, we're given a type of microorganism, which is basically the different groups. Then um, we need to indicate whether it's harmful or useful. Then here it's the disease, then the uses here. So 3.1, let's identify the type of microorganism um, that is. So this is obviously a diagram of an HIV virus. Um, so that means the type of microorganism is a virus. Then 3.2, it's definitely harmful. It can't be useful at all. It's definitely harmful and the disease is AIDS. Then we move to the second row. This is the first row. Let's move to the second row. We are given a protist as a type of microorganism and we're told it's harmful. Yes, it is. Now they are asking us to give the name of the disease that is caused by the mosquito. So the name of that disease is malaria. Okay, then in the third row, we are talking about fungi. So you are given the diagram or just a, a nice image about mushroom, which belongs under the microorganism group fungi. It is useful. We eat it. It gives us nutrients. I also love mushroom. I make mushrooms uh, for breakfast almost every weekend. What are the uses for that? Um, I mean, there's a long list because they're not asking you necessarily about the mushroom. They are asking you about the group fungi. So remember, we get mushrooms, um, we get yeast and all of that. You can speak about yeast um, and yeast is used in baking bread, uh, making beer and all of that. Any example that you have. Then the last one, we are told that it is a microorganism group that is useful and some of the users is basically um, for making yogurt um, and also cheese. These are the two images that we are given. Which group will that be? That is obviously bacteria. Yogurt and cheese obviously contain specific microorganisms, specifically uh, a bacteria. Um, I mean, that whole fermentation process. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. Please remember to like this video, share the link with your classmates and schoolmates, and also please comment down below. All the best.